Are you tired of being overcharged and forced into paying a monthly subscription for your Mac and Windows software? Well, if you are, currently we're having a 50% off discount on all the latest Mac and Windows software, such as AutoCAD, SolidWorks, Photoshop, Microsoft Office, and much more. Our 50% off discount will be ending soon, so be sure to text us, Need Software, to 323-405-1341. That's 323-405-1341. We aim to please, so expect 24-7 technical support, the latest premium software, instant software links delivered to your email, and PayPal Buyer's Protection Guarantee. Um, recently, you know, with everything going on with Kanye and all of that, um, Puba, my man, Grand Puba had put up a picture of him and Kanye giving each other a pound. Mm -hmm. Um, and he said, uh, something to the effect of ain't nothing changed. And then put like a, you know, like a fist or something like that. And then you came on the on the page and said, um, unfollow. <laughs> By the way, I don't think I've ever posted that prior. That was the first unfollow I've ever given. <laughs> you went on the page and said unfollow. And it was just like, okay. Now, what was your what did what did you feel like? What were you trying to say in that moment by putting the unfollow? What was your what was your protest in that moment? So I think what I was. And what did feeling, you think he was saying by eight right. nothing change? Because it it could have been a whole myriad of things. But true, tr true, yeah, true. Um, I think what I was feeling at the time was because believe me, Saif gave me a hard time. Like, why do you do this to yourself? <laughs> How do you think that was going to play out? And Shout I was out like, to hey. Saif. I just saw him. Hopefully, he's one of the people that told you. you should yeah, come he on did. Here uh, too. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, so I guess what I was feeling was. I was in a mode of I'd been obviously I deal with this issue a lot. It's like it's it's a pretty constant thing given my name, given what I do, the things that I'm passionate about, the people I know. I talk about it a lot, and I was in a place where I'd already been like just in. And wait, you say talk about it? What is it? Just the relation, the fraught relationship currently and generally between black people and Jews. Mm -hmm. Um, and particularly when I say it in this case. I guess I mean at the time Kanye because it was we were deep in the yay conversation. Right. Fact. So, so I think that I felt like the thing about Instagram that's weird is is things can jump up and hit you that you don't expect. Like mm -hmm. I follow Puba because he's a rap legend that I admire. You know what I mean? Like he was the one of the original, cool, suave, wearing fly gear, just dope rappers that I loved. Um, and in fact, my brother wrapped over 360, what goes around comes around at my bar mitzvah. Say that. Oh say my that. goodness. Yeah, it actually wasn't terrible. It wasn't, it wasn't as bad. Oh, as he said terrible. it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't terrible. <laughs> was it hot? So, so yeah, that's a different story. So <laughs> no, nah, so I just, I just, of course, the Poobah thing is, a, is just a music thing. So I guess it kind of hit me out of nowhere. I was like surprised to see what I viewed as, and again, this is just my view, what I viewed as, as an endorsement of Kanye at that time. That's that's how I took it. I'm not saying that's accurate, but that's how it hit me was like, damn, why are you coming out specifically in this moment to say, you know, whatever it was he was trying to say. And you're right, it's hard to know exactly what he was trying to say, but that's how it struck me. That's and so I hit unfollow, which I didn't think was that I I guess in retrospect it's aggressive. I thought of it as being kind of tame. But based on the reaction I got, I guess people didn't uh, view it that way. Yeah, well, uh, you know, I guess it was kind of like, first of all, you see, a lot of times we feel like white people will get into uh, certain conversations or certain um, realms that they weren't necessarily even asked to be in, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so. I don't think, you know, Puba is the type. He don't care who's following him, really. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, you can tell my page. He's not like a, an Instagrammy person at all. Like, um, and a lot of times he even got well. That's some other shit. But yeah, sometimes his sons run the shit. But that's neither here nor there. He did post that and all of that. Um, right. 
but I, I feel like I feel like you felt like it was a, an endorsement towards, towards whatever you felt yeah. like uh, Ye was saying negative about Jewish people. Um, I would say yes. That's, that's how I. That's how I. That's how it felt in the moment. You know what I mean? And when someone's having a moment that's specifically a big deal because of a certain topic, which we all know what the topic was. And at that moment, you decide to say, yo, I fuck with this person. Uh, to me, it was hard to not view that as an endorsement of that specific moment. Like it wasn't the anniversary of college dropout. You know what I'm saying? And what and what, and what exactly and what that, did Ye say? say that you particularly had a problem with as a Jewish person. What was he saying that was bothering you? There's so much of it. Uh, no, let's get into it. Get into the, it. The, the entire premise of uh, that, that Judaism in some way or Jewishness is the reason that shitty industry people are shitty, that is a problem. Um, and it's one that we are incredibly sensitive to because the notion of Jews running the media and Jews running the, the you know, inter internecin behind the scenes of the world, that is very specific to what has been done before in very recent memory to put us in danger. So that that entire way of talking about it when he says the Jew media, like Jamar, you and I both know, even if you think Jews are incredibly impactful and, and, and pervasive in the uh, entertainment and media industry, which I would agree with broad stroke, calling the media, the Jew media, bro, is just an exaggerated, inaccurate description of media. Well, well okay. okay. First, okay. first of all, I want to say that I don't think I don't he was saying that, that. Judaism is the reason why these people might be scumbags as business people. I don't think he that's what he's saying. I think he's saying that these guys are scumbags as business people, and a lot of them happen to be Jewish. But he didn't say a lot. <laughs> he really did make it sound like, well, it was ever if you look now, did you see that chart? That they have, they have where he, what, where the he one changes, thing? where no, he ahead, shows all, the, all heads the heads of, of all these all companies, companies and not just in Hollywood, because you said you that, said, um, you know, Jews yeah, run I, Hollywood. I thought, I thought Hollywood. Hollywood. it was some of it was, some of it was, it was inaccurate and some of it was ridiculous, like including Wolf Blitzer, who just is a, a face on TV. But Wolf yes, I, I, well, I don't know if I, I saw Wolf know. Blitzer on the list. I swear he was on the CNN one. Okay. 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 Well, Jeff Zucker well, at the time, or maybe Zucker's out. But, to, but basically, basically, the list, the list was overwhelmingly okay. Jewish people Jewish. in these top positions at these media outlets, at these top media top outlets. outlets. Right? Is that true? true? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think it should be um, outlawed, outlawed to be able to able point, point out the out truth. The truth. It's, it's about how, yeah, totally, totally. But to me, it's about how it's being talked about. And I, I truly think, I, I'll ask you, do you think he was talking in a way that wasn't derisive and didn't play on some of that, those stereotypes that we've heard for a long? Like, do you think he was having a, a real conversation in earnest that was, that was just about the music industry and, some of it happens to be Jews, or do you believe his intention was to bring up these things specifically about Jewish people? Because that is how I felt and how Jewish people took it. Listen, we all know that Kanye is is a a mixed bag of nuts. Okay, um, it's like he'll combine some truthful shit with, you know, maybe sometimes bad intentions. See, because, See, because I'm gonna, you know, if I'm we keep it, real, keep it real, a lot of shit that he's saying, I'm hearing an echo. I don't know if that's coming from you or you. Really? I didn't hear anything change. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm hearing an echo. Hearing going on. But anyway, but anyway, um, tell the people in the chat to tell you if they hear it. I don't hear it. Yeah, do y'all hear this echo? 
Let me know if y'all hear the echo. Um, oh, I bet I know what it is. If oh no, no, I don't have it open. I thought I had your show open, but I don't. Okay. Um. So, so I feel like I feel if like some if, if shit was going his way, he'd never be bringing all this up. The fact that the fact that he's not being allowed into certain circles that that you know the Jay Z song "Still a Nigga" is applying to him. That's when now he brings up things that we in the black community have taken note of, and now he's trying to like use certain issues that. He might have heard going around in the black community, and now he's kind of using that to try to advance his particular uh, issues or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't take away from some of the truth that lies in it. You understand what I'm saying? Like, like, and that's what that's what makes it tricky. It's like I don't know what his intentions are. But some but of the shit he's the, saying is true. And now the way he's being treated in the media makes it seem like, well, damn. Shit is happening exactly the way he's saying. Like, it, it, believe me, I believe me, I think about that quite a quite a bit. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, like, like you're almost it's a self-fulfilling process policy. You're almost proving yeah. his point. His point. Um, I agree with you a hundred percent and I'm realizing my initial tweet didn't go out. So I'm saying again, I'm what I'm talking. Um, yes, a hundred percent. And I think it needs to be like, let's just start, let's start here. We all, we all have our own frustrations with our group. You know what I'm saying? The, the things that you talk about with regard to black people at home, I'm sure is, in a slightly different tone at times when it, than the way you would do it in a room full of white people, okay? We all address things differently, differently at home. And Jewish people, we, we are the same way. We're not blind or oblivious to the fact that we have a lot of um, power and influence in Hollywood and the media. Now, I do think there's a very simple sort of conversation that's worth having about why that is the case. Um, However, I'm and not why is it dangerous to point that out, though? But that's the part I, I spoke to earlier, Jamar. The reason we feel it's dangerous is because if you go back and look throughout history at the different times that Jews have been really in the worst of it, n- most notably the Holocaust, but not only that. You'll see that it, that it started with a conversation about the Jewish control. And this is something me and Ebro have been talking about recently that I think is pretty interesting. I'm curious for your thoughts on it. I think there's a real disconnect between black Americans and Jewish Americans and that because of the black experience in America, which is completely unique, there is no experience in America as a minority group like the black experience. You guys were black folks were dragged here against their will to be to be made uh, slaves. To participate Some of in us were already here and tricked into thinking that we were somewhere else, but that's a whole from somewhere else. That's a whole other story. But go <laughs> ahead, but but even more mind fuckery. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm sure. So, so that experience is totally unique, and I think it's I think it can be challenging for people to identify with Jewish oppression because all they know about Jews is that they have money and power. So how could you have oppression in any way if you're doing well financially? But the fact is, Jews were doing well financially in Germany in 1939. They still got sent to camps and murdered. So it's not that just because you have influence and power in one industry or another that that means you're safe. In fact, it can make you more in danger. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Not really, <laughs> because listen, 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 listen. I really think it did. <laughs> listen here, um, um, see, because everybody that's watching this right now, right now, has learned about the Holocaust in school. In school, we all learned about it in elementary school. They made sure 
we learned about the I knew about the Holocaust before I knew that Jewish people were supposed to have money. I definitely knew about that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Like, 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 that was not that's something that came later, maybe a stereotype. But definitely I knew the stereotype when I was a child was that the Jewish people went through the Holocaust. This was some horrible shit. Hitler was the fucking devil. And, you know, he did some devilish shit. Um, but here's the thing. First of all, black people were there too. Black people um, and, and mixed uh, Germans were put in concentration camps and sterilized. And, and homosexuals and gypsies and lots of people. Yeah. Not, yeah, not to yeah, the not same, same uh, numbers that, that um, you know, Jewish you know, people Jewish were. We were there and we and suffered, suffered as well. As well. Um, um, it, it just seems like, okay, you don't okay, want to talk so about something that maybe might lead to something that happened in the past yet your people a lot of people that are jewish they will own media companies that put out music that not might lead to the death of black people definitely leads to the death of black people Almost on a weekly basis now when it comes to these rappers themselves. But definitely on a daily basis when it just comes to black people in general. So so why are we not keeping the same energy about speech that leads to um, violence? Why do we not keep that same energy across the board? Because you know what? You know you, you hit me with, I've, I've been getting this for two weeks, three weeks, and beyond that, but particularly in the last three weeks. What you're hitting me with when we have that conversation is the equivalent of all lives matter. What you're talking about is very real. What you're talking about is very real. I, uh, nice Jamar, I, don't play, I don't play drill. I don't play drill. Right, but you, said, but you said, am I not supposed to play uh, Andy Well, we can up? get... Well, let's get into the specifics of that because that and, is interesting. And, right. Because listen to Annie up. Listen that. to Annie up. Let's, yeah. let's replace Annie up. When I go like that, you say the, the J word. You say it. Annie up. Smack that. Jew. You want to get stupid? Gun butt that. But if it was done by Jews, that would be their preference. That is, listen. No, and then you were turning in the music yourself. And you see, that's, in that's, jump up that's to how y'all you know. try to get away with it. But it's black people saying it themselves. So what's wrong with so it? Stop, so stop consuming it. So so don't consume hip hop anymore. Let's all let's all right. stop consuming well, it. Well, let's not consume a certain type of hip hop, and let's not promote a certain type of hip hop because it's so dangerous. First of all. Do we, and, do wait, we believe way, only, in the Jews, only, Jews, is it only Jews who profit off that music? No, 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 not no, at no. all, right? No, it, but what I'm saying is, is but, but but Jewish people, people seem to be so sensitive about, about speech that can lead to violence when it comes to their people. So all I'm saying is, and, and are black people since, not more sensitive since about you guys are already in that space of being sensitive about a speech that can lead to violence? Violence, yes, and since you're you're compassionate to all people and want to do mitzvahs, right? Well, then um, you should be compassionate to black people and say, you know what? I want I want for them what I want for myself. I don't I don't I don't want a, a speech that's going to lead to things where they can get harmed. And Listen, I, that's, a, that's a reasonable conversation. That shit. Reasonable conversation about the responsibility of the labels and what they do, and 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 again, shitty industry practices. But if we're being real, Jamar, that has zero to do with what Kanye talked about. Zero. That's what aboutism. That's not a real argument. He didn't bring that up. He was not talking about 
the Jew, the Jews in the industry. Well, he are did bring up the fact that if you go to iTunes, the first three songs you'll hear are all about you know killing black people and sexual exploitation and drugs. He did bring that up. I I don't recall that part of it. I'll take your word for it. But no, but like, no. but here's the thing: you're we're switching the argument. We're I'm down for that conversation. Like this is all, this is what it all comes down to to me, Jamar. I'm there are a lot of conversations that are worth having. Just don't address it like an asshole. Kanye Kanye addressed it like an asshole. Like all he had to do was have a little bit of nuance, a little bit of thought. We could have this conversation. Like that's that's the thing. That's why I think you and I could make progress on this because you're not going to talk about it like an asshole. And the fact of the matter is anyone who knows Ye has been around him in a time when he's been completely self-serving and an asshole. Okay, it, I've been around it many times. So, and by the way, and I still bought tickets to his concerts, still bought his fucking sneakers, still was on board for all of it. You know what I mean? Like, because he's right. that dope right. as an artist. So I think that's a big starting point is like, Ebro said this today, we were talking off the air. Thank Jews are having a, Jews are having a moment right, right now. And we've had them before, but we're having one now where we're going, ouch, we don't like how that feels. And the response is kind of like, why don't you like that? Instead of going, okay, I understand that's not what, that doesn't feel good. Let's have a different kind of conversation about what the issues are. Um, And I think that's an unfortunate way to start a conversation. See, and I believe, and, the, and what I said to you, yeah, 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 yeah. no, you, no, I see you, I see you, I see you. Um, um what I was what saying, I was saying is, is, it kind of feels like, like Jewish people Jewish are saying people ouch, ouch, and and excluding everybody yeah, else's everybody ouch. Else like my ouch, my ouch hurts, hurts more, more than your ouch, than and you're ouch. gonna have to pay attention to my ouch because I run some shit. And now I'm going to but now I'm going to economically force you to to take note of my ouch. Yes. Yes. There is there. Let me tell you something right now. Jews are uniform in how we feel about this issue. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't. Why? Fuck with, let, let's, but listen real quick. I don't fuck with the ADL. OK. Mm. I don't fuck with the Anti-Defamation League. I think their involvement... It's, 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 it's I know, origins, Leo Frank, and all of that. You know about it? No, origins. I don't. I just don't fuck with what they do day to day. Like, why are they, they're the kind of people who want to beat down Kyrie Irving but won't say shit to Donald Trump. Like, I just don't fuck with them, right? So the, the starting point is we are all vastly different. But one thing we all come together on generally is don't play with the fucking Holocaust. That is a uniform fuck around and find out kind of situation. You know what I mean? And, and, and it's like, it's funny it's because funny. from what I know, you're not you're even not Jewish, Jewish, like, like a practicing uh, Jew, right? Right. Like, like, well, like, 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 like an Orthodox Jew? Like, Jew. Like, like, do you wear a yarmulke? Do you no. read the Torah or like, no. like not work on a Friday type of shit? You understand what I'm saying? Like, no, I have Shabbat dinner. I don't. I don't not work on Fridays. But that's what. What the hell does that have to do with anything? No, I'm just saying. A lot of times, people that like ride for the Jewish, um, when it comes to these issues, are not even super serious about their Judaism. Oh yeah, I'm kind of curious. Like, how come now you want to like? At this time, it's like you want to put the Jewish cape on, but then another time you might eat pork or, you know. I, I do. I would tree. gladly. Like, I'll, I'll, just, I'll, I'll gladly have bacon and eggs, and eggs at a diner tomorrow. No question about it. That's part of the, that's part of the, um, you know, the cultural Jewish experience is different than the religious cultural, you know, Jewish experience. Um, and everyone has varying degrees of it. Bro, I don't. Jamar, I have a lot more in common than you with you than I do with Hasidic Jews in Brooklyn, bro. (laughs) Like, I don't really have a lot to talk to Hasidic Jews in Brooklyn about. I'd probably have a lot more to sit and talk to you about. You know what I'm saying? Like, we are vastly different. Um, Right, but I would trust eating, I would trust eating at their house before I would trust eating (laughs) at their house. Before you would at my house. (laughs)